This here is a router table. Basically all it is, is a plunge router mounted upside down to where you can lay pieces of wood on the surface of a table and you, using whichever bit you need. When using a router table, you can use a fence to have your piece of wood resting against, making passes. Or you can use bits that have bearings on them that roll on the edges of the wood while they cut the appropriate profile. The router itself mounts into a table with a hole that it drops down through, making it flush with the rest of the surface to where the wood can move freely, being, being perpendicular to the bit. One important thing about a router table is to make sure that it has a nice smooth surface to where your wood slides across freely. Another thing is you want to make sure it's sturdy. One other thing is to make sure that you have storage for bits and other things such as the tools, the wrenches to adjust it, the height, uh, the collets to um, put the bits in and out of the machine. Um, another thing is choosing how you want the power to be applied to your tool. This one has a power switch that's been added onto it. The plug for the router goes in here. Then the receptacle has a wire that runs to a wall. Router tables can be purchased at stores such as Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, anywhere tools are so sold. Or you can just make one yourself, as in this case.